Now, there are all sorts of ways of moving data, like photos, for instance, from one phone to another. But what if you could do that using sound? Well, that's the idea behind an app called Chirp. That's the sound of Chirp. It's been developed by scientists at University College London, UCL, amongst them Patrick Burgle. Patrick, just show us how Chirp works. OK, I'd like to share a picture with you. And so I'm going to take a picture now. You can take a picture of my ugly mug. And I'm going to put that onto the cloud. Right. And up it goes. And, and now I'd like to share the image. Here we go. Wow, there's a picture of me. So it's on this phone, it's on this phone, and it's on that phone. All three phones all got chirp open. So just explain how that has worked. It's not just the sound coming across, is it? It's, it's, it's something slightly more complex than that. So what we did was put that picture onto the cloud, and then the sound you heard was a link to that picture. And that's what we pass over the air. So my phone hears that sound when I've got the app open, says, ah, oh, that's a link, chases that link, and brings down the photo to my phone. That's right. So that's great fun, and you can see it being used in the pub and so on, but has it got any wider implications and uses? Well, we think that there are a lot of things that you might want to share using sound. For example, coupons or tickets, uh, entry to a gig, for example, could be done uh, via sound, or even micropayments. It will be possible in the future to encode money as audio, and then I'll be able to give you a fiver just by chirping it to you. And where does the inspiration for doing this with sound come from? Well, we spend a lot of our time looking at birdsong and how animals communicate, and we take a lot of inspiration from that when we created this system. OK, well, let me try it myself. I've put a picture of my dog onto Chirp's cloud. <laughs> and there she is. So that's the result. My dog via sound to your phones.